Valverde trying to limit his loss and now he comes back. That's clever riding by Alejandro Valverde. He knows he can't, and now the big attack comes. Adam Yates now puts in a huge attack. The punch has been felt by Sepkus. Yates now leaves Sepkus on the mountain. Well, there is no sign of the damage of the crash in the UAE. Adam Yates is just flying his way up this mountain. Lives in Andorra, not too far away. He knows this climb. And he is just cruising his way to the top. Well, Adam Yates moved to Ineos Grenadiers and he's already paying them back, isn't he? Second in the UAE Tour. And he's heading now for the leader's jersey of Catalonia. Hugh Carthy now, full acceleration. On his wheel, I'm pretty sure is Han Van Hooker. Jao Almeida hits one kilometre to go. But the gap is now 43 seconds. He needs to ride a final kilometre flat out. Yates is under a little bit of pressure. Adam Yates reaches the snow line now. The piste beckons just in front. The finish line is at the base of the piste at Valta 2000. Look at Esteban Chavez. This is a wonderful climb by Chavez. But I don't think he's going to be able to get to the wheel of Adam Yates. 600 metres of climbing to go for the Ineos Grenadier. If Adam Yates wins this, it would be his first victory in these colours. 300 metres to go. Well, the last time we finished here, he beat Egan Bernal, who is now a teammate. Adam Yates is making Valter 2000 his own. He's attacked numerous times on the climb. He's left behind the best climbers in the world. And Adam Yates is now going to cruise in to win this race on Valter 2000. And he's also going to take the leader's jersey. Adam Yates gets ready to celebrate his first victory for Ineos Grenadiers. Yates now into the finishing straight and sets himself up to win. It's going to be back-to-back -back wins for Ineos Grenadiers. Rowan Dennis yesterday, Adam Yates today. The victory of Falter 2000 goes to Adam Yates of Ineos Grenadiers.